Hi, I'm Olivia from Clink.com, here to give you a Clink features overview to help you navigate and learn about your Clink client portal. Since remote working has become a necessity for most companies, they now need a portal that's easy to implement with no code that's also branded to represent their organisations. Today, this tour will take you through the key elements of the Clink Client Portal to help get you started or brush up on some knowledge. So let's dig in. First up, we have groups. Groups are a fundamental part of Clink. Usually groups are set up for each client or project. Group homepages can be customized to meet your client's needs and your clients can be added to a specific group. So when they log in, they'll have their own tailored place to collaborate with other members in that group. The tools that make up a group are Files, notes, discussions, events, and tasks. Members within these groups can collaborate using these tools with their clients and team. Speaking of members, here's an overview of our member dashboard. Each member will have a personalized main dashboard if they belong to more than one group. On the left of the dashboard, you'll see the group list. These are all lists of groups that you are a member of. You'll also see here a real-time activity stream. This is an accumulation of all the activity happening within the groups that you are a part of. Now, let's take a look at branding and account administration. So because Clinked is a white label portal, your organization's branding is front and center and can be personalized during all interactions. We recommend that one of the first things you do when creating your portal is set up your branding. This means the account administrator customizing the portal to your company colors, adding your logos, and even a custom background header and favicon. But once all of this is done, what's a client portal without its members? When adding users, you can create them a member profile and have the option to add in their job title, picture, and an email address. There are four types of members available in Clinked. We have super admin, group admin, can contribute and read only. Having the capability to assign these member types is useful for confidentiality purposes. For more information on member types, check out the link in the description. So, as well as controlled member types, Clinked also has permissions available to keep tight controls on content. Permissions are designed to add an extra layer of security to all of your content. They can be set by clicking on the padlock icon next to the content of choice, and this includes all the Clinked tools. So for all of you watching, that was a Clinked feature overview of the key elements within the portal that we recommend spending time on when getting set up. Hopefully this answered all of your questions, but if you need more tips navigating or setting up, check out our help center and feature pages, both linked in the description below. And as usual, don't forget to subscribe for more client knowledge from Clinked. Thank you.